I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back G'day guys, with my Kmart hauls, I thought I might actually start showing you how I use them around the house. So when we do a come shop with me or just sitting at home sharing, instead of me just picking up the item, I thought I'd show you how to do it. So the first one, first off, I've got these narrow fridge organizers. And as you can see, they're clear and they cost $5.50. They've got these great wheels on the bottom. They're just an awesome size. As you can see here, I put in my excess cleaning products. I've used them actually in the broom cupboard and they're so good. I ended up buying four more, so I've got a total of five up there. And then I just labeled them with my trusty Dymo label maker, which is fast and cost effective, efficient labels. And the labels I'm using is cleaning products for the floors, for the walls, random, as well as back stock. So of course these are actually marketed for the freezer. So if you've got a side-by-side -side freezer, they do work really well for slipping in your frozen veggies or your frozen meat, just to keep it categorized within your freezer, which makes it easier for you. But this is how I've been using it in our broom cupboard, just to organize that space. The next product I bought was this basket with bamboo frame. Now I really like the color for this, and at $17, I thought it was a great affordable price. I've got two of them in the linen cupboard side by side, and I find with containers, the great thing about them is they limit how much stuff you can have. So once you start overflowing from that container, you either need to declutter or buy another container. But I just like that it keeps a nice boundary. It was interesting to set this up with the bamboo sticks and the Velcro, I've showed you a couple of angles here because you can see it was a little bit tricky and you've got to really push it in so that it stays upright. I do really like the color. I think it's a great height and a great color. I could great for fitting multiple sheet sets as well as towels. To label it, what I bought is these metal clips from Kmart. There's three for $5.50, so under $2 per clip and it comes with paper in the front. I just labeled it and then slipped it on. This would work perfect for like a woven basket or container because it could just slip in the handle space there like they've demonstrated on their website. The next container I got is these medium white storage. Now this one here is $6. They also have a large one, which is $8. And I've got the comparison here so you can see the difference in size. So sometimes you don't want a clear container that you can look through. Sometimes you just want the white. So this is another option. It is $6, so 50 cents more for a white container. It has wheels along the bottom as well. And don't forget the hack here I'm using. If you're having trouble getting your stickers off, then just use your hair dryer. It just warms up the glue and then it is so easy to peel off. There's so many different items you can store in here. I'm storing resealable bags. We've also got drink bottles. It works with chopping boards. The other great thing about it, it also holds 30 centimeter craft stock paper. If you are into craft, this could be a great addition to your craft room. The next item is these felt storage boxes. They are $6. They are 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters, and they have a nice lid on the top. It's a really nice color, and I have used it on the top of my wardrobe to keep my out of season clothes and work clothes while I'm on maternity leave. I've put it all up there. It does have a plastic pocket on the front, but as you can see here, the handle kind of half blocks that. Thankfully, I'm short, so when I'm looking from below, I can see what each one is labeled, but that is a slight negative of them that half of the handle covers the area where you would put your label. The next item I bought to organize our wardrobe is these shelf dividers. I got these for my husband's clothes. He had a leaning tower of jumpers, so by fixing these between them, it just helps to keep them nice and straight. It was very easy to do. It came with great instructions and you just pull to slide up and down for whatever height you would like. So these were $9 for two. So we ended up getting two of them. And as you can see, it is organized the top and I just couldn't help myself after seeing his 
coat hangers being all odd a simple way for your wardrobe to be more organized is to have the same coat hanger so i used the flocked hangers from kmart 12 dollars for 30 and hung up his clothes like that and as you can see it looks so nice and the flocked hangers are nice and thin we're going back to the broom cupboard now and I've got this underwire shelf basket. This was $5.50. On the picture, it talks about using it in the kitchen, but I'm using it here in the broom cupboard just to store our delicate bags as well as our dryer balls. And it is so good to just slide beneath the shelf that's already there. I was thinking of getting a complete another shelf, but this one I am super happy with and it works so well. Still in the broom cupboard, I grabbed a heap of different command hooks. Some of these I did actually get from Bunnings and some are from Kmart, just to help organize things. So you can get the broom holders from both Kmart and Bunnings, we use it for the broom and the little shovel bit there, as well as for our mop. And then over the other side for that cleaning tool, I used it over there as well. The little clips that I've clipped the gloves with, I actually bought this from Bunnings. I didn't see them at Kmart and super simple to set up. The only thing I would say with your command hooks is just make sure you read the instructions on the back because depending on what size, they have a different routine for how to stick it on. So if we wanna get the best out of our command hooks, I really recommend just checking what it is specifically for that size command hook. And in regards to that, I used rubbing alcohol on each surface to ensure it was clean before putting hooks up. And you can see here in the kids room, I have got one for their dressing gown and one for a costume that they like to wear. And this is so practical for kids. It's at a great height for them and it gives them a space to put it back to. And it's really promoting not leaving their gown on the floor. They just easily put it up on a hook. So this system has been working so well from our family and it just keeps their dressing gowns off the floor. I also used two hooks in the baking cupboard to hook up my oven gloves that I use. And then Kmart also has little decorative hooks or just the size up as well. So for my phone cord, I just use the decorative hooks. And then for the cord at the back, we've got a robot vacuum. So I do try and get the cords off the floor. So this way I can just hook the lamp cord behind my bedside table and then back into the bathroom. So when I get a grocery haul in the kitchen, I like to get everything out of its packets and boxes, decanter it and put it away. And what I'm gonna be using in the bathroom is the set of four clear organizers. Now this is $7.50. Each container has a lid, which is awesome. And as you can see, I've gone from multiple packets and I could decanter them and put them into these containers, which makes it so accessible and so easy. And one of the claims on the website is it's stackable, which my three-year-old is clearly proving here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you've bought recently at Kmart that you're loving to organize. I can't wait to do another video like this. Thanks, thanks for watching guys. Bye.